we have done politics in 2021 and we won the election the next time that we are going to come back is in 2025 stroke 2026 when we are going to campaign for a candidate that we know that can help the nation so as for now we don't talk about those things those of you that understand politics know that uh, I cannot just wake up and start talking and talk and talk and talk. No, when when I fought with Eddie Galungu in Zambia in 2016 and I was deported, you never heard me talking. Eddie Galungu believed that everything was well. He believed that uh, I had moved on, I had, uh, uh, had, had for, forgotten. He believed that uh, things are okay. See, one is happy and uh, nothing is going to happen because I kept quiet. When I came back, it came to him as a shock. So this is how politics is done. UPND can do whatever they are doing. They can be doing whatever they are doing. But uh, when time of politics come, that's when we know, uh, that's when we know whether they did well or they do not do well so we can't talk about politics now it's too early for me to start fighting because even if we want to remove UPND from power today when we start fighting them now they still have a lot and a lot of time to amend any mistakes that they are making so let's just watch what is going on let's just be following what is going on we are coming back what I want to say is that I will never disappoint the people. I will always be with the people. I will always side with the people. So if the people are saying they don't want UPND, I will help the people to remove UPND. If people are saying they want UPND, we are going to help uh, UPND to remain in power. That's how it is. And uh, that's why you don't hear me talk about politics now. We are only this is the time of watching we are watching and observing upnd when the time comes uh, we shall see please may god bless you i just brought you to the office so that you can see the new office see what god has done wherever you are you might have uh, you might be feeling low you know you might be feeling disappointed you might be feeling depressed you have lost things and you are feeling like giving up don't give up I, I was in your shoe i mean i lost everything that i had in zambia and started from scratch from then till now god has given me 20 times more than what i lost this is where i am today so don't be depressed i want my testimony to touch you i want why isn't eddie galungu arrested uh, it's because of UPND. UPND is going to be shocked. Uh, UPND do not understand politics. Uh, I don't blame them. The leader is a businessman. He knows nothing about politics. And the people he appointed as his advisors are really disappointing. They don't also understand politics, including his political advisor few uh, months ago i think last year i gave them political insight i told them that uh, you see the way you people are laughing at eddie galungu you you thought that eddie galungu was finished eddie galungu was never going to be in public i said just watch eddie galungu few months from now he will come out and when he come out it's a way calculated move that anywhere he goes camera will follow him they want him to be on the camera and uh, uh, clean himself up of what is going on and in 2026 is going to be a very is going to be an election decider you know i gave that advice to the upnd but uh, we are dealing with people who do not understand politics people who are doing hide and seek so we we allow them uh, to see in in politics if they if they are listening 
they can be in power for 50 years 60 years but uh, you know when you are do you are as a president you are, as a government you came into power through politics and you don't know politics you know you you don't even know anything about politics you lose power quicker than you got it and it's so painful because i can tell you the the meeting that is going on about hh when hh loses power that will be the end of his freedom hh is going to spend the rest of his life in jail uh, not because of something that he committed but because he is surrounded himself with people who do not understand politics people who are who are telling him yes sir yes sir, everything is okay uh, <laughs> people who are deceiving him just like i told the alone I am a political guru. I was born a politician. I can calculate what happened between now and the next 20 years. I, I told you that Eddie Alung will come out in public and it's going to be crucial. Also, what is happening now? Uh, what is happening? So, it's out and it, I can assure you that no one is going to arrest Eddie Alung. The way it is now, it's impossible to arrest him. If you arrest him now, the people will rise. There is tension in the country between Tonga people, Bemba, and so on. Uh, Bembas and other people feel feel like HH has employed only only Tongas and so on. There is massive division in the country that will make it impossible for Edi Galungi to be arrested. We had massive support when that election was won. Time to arrest those guys and take care of them politically. But uh, when I was talking, they said, no, we don't want uh, to, to, we don't want to, we don't want division in our country. You, we don't want to be venge, venge, vengeful. We don't want vengeance. <laughs> ah, what is happening to them? So it will be, it will be very impossible to arrest Edgar Lungu as it is now. It it will not happen. He can't be arrested because Bemba people, the Easterners, will not allow that to happen. There is serious. Uh, thing that is going on yeah, if if i can uh, uh, use my other page and talk politics and what is going on in zambia there will be war so i don't want to touch that now i'll keep it as for now we'll come in 2025 so edgar Lungu is not arrested because he's uh, it will be impossible to arrest him now uh, and him coming to stand again in 2026, he won't win. We are not going to allow him to win. Personally, I myself see a one will not allow that to happen. Because he still has to apologize to me if he want to go back for us to clean him because i am the one that painted him all those uh, black charcoal that he has all those corruption and all those things that i was doing that time of politics i am the one that painted it i am the one that will clean the dirty if he want to be president he must call me come to me you know we we come in agreement then perfect we can start cleaning all those dirty that we put on him and start selling him i mean hh was a uh, hh was unsellable people used to call him satanist freemason and what what and we came in started doing the cleansing and all of a sudden uh, that man that everybody was saying what 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 he, he became the president today so those Ed, Ed Galungu can never be a president in zambia when i'm alive unless he come to me 
but secretly or openly we come in agreement we remove all the mouth that we are putting on him we start cleaning him then he can become the president but just waking up and say i want to go and become the president we are not going to allow that to happen we are going to campaign badly <laughs> and then yeah, i am the chief uh, <laughs> i engineer these things so if he's if he's really want to be president you must come and see me in zambia in nigeria here because i i posted it the other day when i was uh, building my hotel i said he must come here he must come and apologize to me he was my friend very good friend of mine he must come and apologize to me and enter in agreement with me before we start cleaning him without that he can never be president you can cut my finger the thing is that when i'm when i'm talking when i'm talking people say ah, ah, ah. but you must follow my word has is there anything that i've said that never happened anything i tell you that will happen is what will happen i told you during the election to say even even if jesus come and vote for ediga he was not he's not winning did you win with all the prayers all the people he surrounds himself with who we are saying see your one is a satanist what 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 did you win all the holy ghost fire they sent to me all the blood of jesus they sent to me did you win he can never win until i forgive him he come here we make peace and then we'll start uh, we start we go back now to the people and tell the people what we know about edgar long this is politics i am a, a politician i am a politician a born politician so as it is now pf stand a very good chance very very big chance but not with edgar because edgar i can't allow that to happen it will never happen even if you bring jesus again you bring all the angels in heaven to vote for Ediga. He will never be president unless I forgive him. To me, PF should uh, uh, it should PF should look at uh, Brian Mundibile. That's where that's the where they must be looking at, and they must come up with a leader now. I mean they they have chances they can come up with a leader now and that leader must start leading leading the party uh, there is big chance for them but not edgar alone edgar cannot go anywhere unless he follow me to nigeria come to nigeria apologize to me and enter in agreement with me then uh, he, uh, what is there? <laughs> we are the one that do the campaign. Who we, we will do? Who will start politics? You know, when people people say the reason why uh, you don't see me often speak often is because as a politician we do calculated a serious politician, not those who talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we calculate moves. Twenty twenty six. I've already calculated it. I know where it's going and I know how things will be.